Hey guys, Daniel here from CRM Jewelers. Today we're going to be discussing the AP Concept Flying Tourbillon. Well, let's talk about the case design of this beautiful piece. The watch which I nicknamed the Dark Knight Tourbillon is something genuinely unique in shape and size. Something that will call your attention without necessarily having that aura around it. The, the case is designed like that of a fighter jet. The reason why I call it the Dark Knight, because it reminds me of the Tumblr from the Batman movies, the Christopher Nolan movies. If you go and you sit this thing down on a table, you're probably going to see that turbine uh, rotating back and forth. And you're going to see it look sort of like that thruster on the back of that car. Let's get into the specs. When it comes to this piece, something that will really call your attention is going to be the size. For those of you that wanted to know, this is a 44 millimeter wide by 57 millimeter lug to lug, and then the thickness is about 16.1 millimeters. The watch itself, in your mind, would probably sound huge, but the reality of it is Audemars Piguet did a very good job uh, making a contour in the shape that actually curves towards your wrist. Unlike the 44 millimeter AP Offshore, which you usually, and I actually did show that in the previous video, I think the, how to price your Rolex or uh, the, the video right after that, you get those really sharp lugs on the 44 millimeter offshore, which just sort of like drop. And then you have like these gaps in between your wrist and the watch itself. This one, thanks to that contour and that curvature, you're gonna have it sitting more comfortably on your wrist and you won't feel that bulkiness as much. Something else that's really interesting about this piece is considering the caliber of the piece and the retail price upwards of $150,000, the piece itself is designed to go up to 100 meters underwater. Personally, I don't know the person that would actually go and jump in the water with something like this, but there are many. I think Dan Bilzerian is one of them who you casually see swimming with an AP concept. Then you also have to, uh, you actually have to appreciate the work of art behind this piece. It's a 237 hour power reserve, which is just shy of 10 days. On top of that, it's a 24 hour GMT with 12 hours a night and 12 hours a day. It will tell you that with a light shade or a darker shade in that GMT circle. If you're actually measuring the time for Miami and London, it's gonna be the six hours ahead. It'll tell you when it's dark over there and then you're still gonna have the consistent time here and set in place. Now, I know you're gonna be asking yourself a question and you're gonna be like, damn, that watch must be heavy considering it's 44 millimeters by 57 millimeters. Surprisingly, no. Think, thanks to the engineering behind this piece, it was made with sandblasted titanium and a ceramic bezel, which makes it extremely lightweight and very comfortable on the wrist. If you're uh, a little bit bigger and in size and you also maybe a little bit more athletic and stuff like that and you have a thicker uh, forearm you're going to be really appreciating this piece on your wrist so the interesting feature about this is that just like a car has a neutral feature which is actually outlined by that little uh, rose gold indicator on the end which is neutral now we pull this crown out first precision winding remontage you'll hear the you'll hear it winding Now, if you go and you pull it out once again, you hit the H for, it's the setting mode. So here you actually get to play with the hands. What you're gonna see is that GMT on the right side with the gold indicator, which you can actually see that 24 hour GMT, which I had mentioned, which tells you night and day. Right now in the light, and then if you continue, you're gonna see it in the darker as it goes into the 9 p.m., 10 p.m., 11 p.m. So if we go here and close again. This is something really funny I just noticed. If we put this watch down, let's look right here at a 42 millimeter brick. You see the crown? When you screw it in, it will never screw straight up. However, for some beautiful design mechanic of this watch, when you unscrew the crown in no specific order, it always lands in the proper direction. AP is always up. That's beautiful. Little details like that show you the engineering marvel that went into making this watch. It's beautiful open back, which actually I can show you in more detail right here. Skeletonized back, really allows you to see the two barrels, springs. 
Beautiful piece. Here we are with a loom shot. I'm gonna charge this up real quick for you guys. Boom. This beautiful watch. You get everything you can possibly need for $150,000. AP really did something with this piece. It's something unique, discreet, calls just the right amount of attention, and it's simple, yet genuinely unique in design. I, I, I haven't seen this before. I would say if you were to give me $150,000 and I had to choose between this AP Concept Rubion or an RM11 GMT, both titanium, one is a chronograph, this one obviously isn't, I would go for something very nice such as this piece. When it comes to the major house, uh, houses of time, Rolex, AP, Patek, AP second place, Patek number one, and then Rolex in third place, I would say don't go for a brand new childish brand, something that just is hot in the market, hyped up. Go for something that has history and genuinely kills it every time that they come out with something new. Well guys, as always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Share this with your friends if you think it was interesting. Hopefully um, the different modes, the settings and all that kind of stuff helps you out because I've noticed that not many people on YouTube do share how to set the time on this, how to wind it, how to play with the GMT, etc. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and until next time, peace out.